for many college kids, waiting in line for concert tickets is a rite of passage. And I was no different. Except, instead of rock and roll music, my concert was a lecture on black hole topology. Instead of a stage dive, I would dive into knowledge. Instead of guitar shredding solos, I would witness universe shredding hypotheses. And instead of a charismatic frontman dazzling the audience, there would be... Well, actually, the exact same thing. Sheldon? Paige, why are you here? The lecture? Well, if you're looking to jump the line, I don't do cutsies. No, I'm actually a part of the lecture. Professor Patterson is my mentor at UT. Really? You're part of the quantum gravity team? Yeah, it's actually really interesting. We've been examining all- I know what it's about. That's why I've been waiting in line for three hours. Wow. Three hours to see me speak? I didn't know you were such a fan. Oh, hello. You didn't stay for the Q&A. I had no Q's and therefore needed no A's. Oh, well, I thought that maybe we could just hang out. Why would we do that? Because we're friends. Are we? One time you punched me in the face. Mm, yeah, that's what friends do. Can I come in? Why aren't you spending the afternoon with your colleagues? Well, Professor Patterson took the team out for drinks. That kind of leaves me on my own. Fine, come in. You got a roommate? No, it's a single. I have a chaperone. Mona? She's like 30. It's the worst. Why do you need a chaperone? Maybe they think I'm like some kind of troublemaker. As the owner of the face you punched, they're right. Yo, homie. Oh, sorry, didn't know you had company. Oh, this is Paige. Paige, this is Darren. He lives next door. Hi. We're having a Mario Kart death match. You guys want in? It's pretty fun. We do it a few times a week. Really? You want to join us? Uh, I've never played before. Perfect. You can be on Oscar's team. I will destroy. Your neighbors let you hang out with them? I'm basically the social glue of our floor. Where do you go? UT. Austin. Great city. You must have fun. Yeah, it's one big party. So did you guys get, like, assigned to look after Sheldon or something? No. He ended up in the room next door. So we took him in, like a dog. Hmm. Him being so young isn't, like, weird. I'm basically 50. And we're basically 12, so it all works out. You go for D&D on Friday? It's the only day Abby can make it. There's an Abby? She only likes him as a friend. She made that very clear. So clear. Do you play D&D? No. I actually just sit in my dorm room and study because I have no friends. That's a bummer. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go. Bye. You should go after her. Why? She's a bummer. You just said so. Can you settle an argument? I said you're fine. Darren and Oscar said you're not fine. <laughs> oh, why wouldn't I be fine? I'm completely alone, and the one person I thought would understand is having the time of his life. So, just to clarify... They're right, you're wrong. Dang it. How do you have more friends than me? I don't know. I don't even want them. I thought that college was going to be this amazing experience, but I hate it. You're doing such interesting work with Professor Patterson. I really think he wants to take suggestions from me. I'm not even a woman in science. I'm a little girl in science. Just trot me out like the Novelty Act to help get funding. They did that to me here, too. They did? Yes, and I was very rude to the donor. <laughs> You're kidding. What happened? He appreciated my honesty and gave the school a bunch of money. Of course he did. No, I gotta go. Mona's probably freaking out. Because instead of friends, I have a Mona. Bye. 